happy Wednesday, Sleeping Evie family. Welcome back to the channel. We did it. We hit 400 subscribers yesterday. I checked it and we are at 402 subscribers and I'm so, so excited. Yes. <laughs> we hit it. We hit another milestone. I can't believe it. I, I have been hoping to hit this milestone for I think a couple of weeks now. It's, it's like been right on the cusp and we did it. We, uh, we got 400 subscribers. <laughs> I, I I showed Kyle and he was just so excited too. So we will be doing another giveaway because we hit 400 subscribers. I am so excited. I haven't done one in a while. A little bit since uh, the uh, slab that I gave away. And I, I'm gonna give away some stuff here too. Um, I'm gonna pick out some cards from all of my duplicates that I have <laughs> and I will post them up on, I'll show them off on YouTube and on Twitter. I'll probably show them off on Friday's video if I have them by then, hopefully I do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all the ones that I've shown before, I'm going to include that Basque Legion, Build and Battle promo deck in there. I'm going to include several cards, just there will be several cards. I have a few ideas in mind. It won't be a grand slab this time. Uh, I might do that again at 500, <laughs> and 500 is, you know, our halfway point to a thousand, so I think that could be the ultimate goal for the rest of the year, but we'll see if we can't get there, so. But, as far as openings, yes, we are opening the Professor Juniper Premium Tournament Collection, the Professor Juniper Milk Carton. <laughs> I never got to open the Marnie one. It sold out really quick, but I actually was able to snag a Professor Juniper one. I don't think this card is nearly as popular as the Marnie one. If I'm able to ever get a hold of the Marnie one, I'll absolutely open it. But hey, Professor Juniper is really, really cool. Uh, I've seen the full art. It's really awesome. And I've always wanted, I wanted to see what, the goodies that come inside one of these. Before we get into that, I actually had another package I was supposed to open for a mailbag Monday, but it actually came right as I was filming the video on Sunday, so we didn't get to show it off. So I'll show it off today, even though it should be waiting, it should be put for a Monday, but since it came late and technically it should have been included in Monday's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I do have some cards for next Monday's video already, but this is from uh, Malice Dumpling. That is the Twitter user. Some of you guys may know Malice Dumpling. They have sold quite a few cards and they reserve some really, really cool ones. And have them backwards. There we go. Okay. There we go. So these were the two alternate arts. A lot of protection in these. I really appreciate that. Two alternate arts. The alternate Arceus and the alternate Honchkrow V. Two of the remaining alternate arts I need from Brilliant Stars. There's four in total, um, which just leaves the Charizard. So these were really, really cool alternate arts. I really like this one. Um, kind of reminded me of the promo card. Tend to like the promo card a little bit more, but hey, this is a beautiful alternate art. Very, very desirable one. And uh, the Honchko was really cool too. I love how it looks like they're just scenes that you would see out like if Pokemon existed. They did this for the Honchko and for the Luminion V, I believe. <laughs> to me, that's what it seems like. Like out in the real wild. <laughs> it makes the Honchkrow and the Luminion look like real, actual Pokemon, real animals in a sense, if you want to put it that way. But they are really, really cool alternate arts. I'm so glad to have them. And they're already in card savers, which is awesome because I keep all of my alternate arts in card savers. I will put little energies into the binder to show that I do have those cards, but I like to keep the alternate arts and card savers. And the other thing I wanted to show you is 
we actually won a giveaway here on the TV channel from, I believe it's, had my, at Reagan Sparkles. Uh, she had an ETB that she gave away of Ash Radiance and I actually won it. And she hoped that it <laughs> brought brought me luck and hope I had really, really good, good pulls from it. So we were actually gonna open that first. And it was a really sweet card, a really cute sticker. And she actually included this adorable Pikachu sticker as well. We're gonna stick that right up there. You guys can see it. So that was really, really awesome. I'm actually put this over here. And I went ahead and opened the ATV so we can go ahead and just pop it and just get right into it. So that was really cool. <laughs> and here are the packs. That thing I was trying to fly out of this. Um, <laughs> And I'm just looking for the code card for you guys. Okay. Now let's see if we can't pull anything spicy. We almost left two packs in there from the ETB. So we got all eight packs now. Okay. I know it's a few minutes in, hadn't opened any packs, but I had to show off those cards first. I couldn't believe they actually got to my house late after I'd already filmed the video. So I was like, dang, I felt really bad. So I was like, you know what? We're going to show them off in Wednesday's video just so I can, just so you guys can actually see them. <laughs> we got Ralts, Thievil, and an Arcanine Nod Hollow. I got little papers on my desk. And I'm excited because not only do I have the Professor Juniper box, but I actually have one of the Divergent Powers tins that I'm going to open up Friday. And I'm going to try to get the other two. Right now I have the Decidui one, and I'm hoping to find the Typhlosion and Samurott ones at GameStop. So I'm going to look there. I found the Decidui one at Walmart when I was looking for some packs. We got Shaman into our Ursa Luna. Okay, next pack. The z has got hold something spicy, I just know it. <laughs> so let's get into this one. Okay. And we got a V-Star marker. I think I mentioned last time, it's been a while since I mentioned what a V-Star marker is. I really like that bronze long artwork. Um, of course, you use it in the TCG. A nice Galaceon for us. It is to indicate if your V-Star Pokemon has used its V-Star power or not. When it's flipped up to the white side that says V-Star, that means you have not used it during your game. But once you've used it during your game, you're to flip it over to the black side. I feel like I need to explain this every once in a while, <laughs> just so people know, because I don't ever see people explain it too much in Pokemon opening videos. So I feel like every once in a while I need to explain it. Cillian Voltorb, Radiant Greninja. It's actually been a while since I pulled a Radiant card, so there we go. I might include some Radiant cards too. And we got anything behind it? We got Adamant Hollow. All right, let's sleep for Greninja. It's a really, really awesome card. I know people love the Greninja. I have to say, Greninja, when I first saw it, because I think I played the Gen 6 game pretty late, definitely well late after it came out. I was not a fan of Froakie. I did not look up the evolution because I actually wanted to be surprised. So I actually went with Finnegan because I actually thought it looked the best. And I wasn't a big fan of Greninja. Wasn't. <laughs> I know it's probably a very, very hot take, but it's yeah, when I first saw Greninja, I was not a fan. I am now. I really do like Greninja. I do appreciate all of 
the power that Greninja has, of course, now. I do appreciate it's shiny because there are very few shinies that are all black like that. But Greninja is a very cool Pokemon and uh, I, it, it took some, it was more to think the design of, of the fact that its tongue is the scarf that kind of just threw me off a little bit. But, and the fact that, you know, Del Fox is a wizard and I'm very much a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> so that kind of played in it to it too. But Greninja is a really cool, it's a very cool assassin one. We got Bergmite. Ooh, bronze on character rare. We've pulled this one. We got ooh, and full art adamant. Full art adamant. That is awesome. We this is brand new. And of course, I'm gonna sleep with the bronze on, but full art adamant. That is awesome. So we have I've already pulled Irida or Rita. <clears throat> How we want to pronounce her name. <laughs> And we get to pull the Adam in two, so that's really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try to push these up just a little bit. There we go. So yes, we get Adam in now as well. Another full art trainer to add to the binder. I've pulled quite a few full art trainers so far. And uh, I, I love the full art trainers. <laughs> that is a really, really cool card. With the moon in the background, it's really awesome. Oh man, I'm gonna try to put some uh, Legends Arceus clips of me getting some shinies or really cool Pokemon. Try to figure out if I can put some shorts up for that. We got Togekiss and a Thievul non hollow. I think it'd be really cool because I actually do get quite a few shinies. <laughs> In, uh, did I say Pokemon Go or. I meant Legends Arceus. <laughs> Um, that and you guys can see some of my Pokemon that I use. I use quite a few shinies. I have my uh, Alpha Shiny Decidueye that I use all the time. So it's the only Alpha Shiny I have. I think we might have something else too. This is a very good ETB. Oh shoot. Glame me out into a Pur Ugly. That makes sense. And Usui and Decidueye. Finally, 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 finally. I have not pulled Decidueye yet out of all the Astroidians packs I've opened, which is crazy. And we finally pulled a Decidueye. <laughs> oh man, we got four hits out of there. We got a Radiant Greninja, that full art adamant, which is awesome. Bronzong, which the Greninja and the Bronzong were duplicates. And then we got two new cards, which is amazing. So we have the full art adamant is brand new, so that is definitely going in the binder. And then the Hisuian Decidueye V. That is awesome. So now we're gonna open up this Professor Juniper collection. And the way I got it, the top was kind of popped off anyways. So. So we got the deck box and I believe all the packs are in there. And I'm gonna try to save the carton. And you get all these. Uh, you get these really awesome sleeves, which are the image on the front that moves off to the side. You get the coin and the dice. There's the dice that are green and the coin, which is really cool. And you get, oops, these damage markers, which look like they're metal, but they're not. They're actually just a thicker plastic than normal damage counters. And the, I think I showed the dice already. And we're actually gonna open this. If I had more than one, I would keep one sealed, but I don't. But I wanna see the full art card. So not only do you get the full art card, but you get the hollow professor research. Put the, this over here real quick. You get Hollow Professor Research cards as well. You get three of them. So this is supposed to be a play set. So it's really cool because she does not have a Hollow. And then this is the Professor Juniper Professor's Research card. And we will sleeve that up. Not the 
best centering I can say. I think it's a little heavy on the top. Um, I think a little bit off left to right too, but it's still a really, really cool card. I love this. Absolutely love this. And I'm so glad I was able to get one. And we will definitely keep these as well. Put those off to the side. And for those who are lucky enough, there is the code card for that tournament collection. <laughs> and we will get into the packs now. So a nice little deck box there. And you get three brilliant stars, two fusion strike, an evolving skies, and a chilling rain. So we will actually go in reverse order. We'll start with the chilling rain, we'll end on the brilliant stars. Seems like these have a little bit better pull rates, I believe. I've only seen a few of these open, but it seems like they have better pull rates than the Marnie boxes. To me, the Marnie boxes did not have great pull rates, just from what I saw. There were some that had really, really good pull rates and some that were really, really not good. Pad to the Peak. We got something. Celebi V Max. I'm not sure if I pulled a Celebi V Max. That's really cool. And already a hit from this box and a very good one. I think this card can be playable, but very, very, very good card. Celebi V Max. It's really pretty. And I'm pretty sure I didn't pull that one. We'll set these off to the side. I've seen the card before. I don't think I pulled it. I know I pulled the regular V and then the full RV. I just don't think I pulled the V max. So. But into Evolving Skies. Let's see if we can't get a nice hit out of here. <laughs> Still looking for some Evolution alternate arts. I feel like they're kind of hard to find. These cards feel a little weird. And a Talon Flame, not hollow. I don't know, they feel a little flimsy to me. I think it's just me. <laughs> All right, we got Fusion Strike now. Let's see if Fusion tri Strike will <laughs> treat us well. But yeah, the, all the goodies in the Professor Juniper box is really awesome. So and if you're wondering, the Professor Juniper box retails for $40. So you get seven packs, a variety of packs, and you get the deck box, the full art, and all those coins and dice. Cinescorch into a Grim Snarl Hollow. So a nice hollow there. So it's really nice for those who want to have some of the, or use some of the items that come in the box. If they want to use the deck box to carry their decks in, or use that coin as part of their uh, set that they bring with them, or even using the sleeves. I think the sleeves are matte. I know sometimes the sleeves that Pokemon has aren't always the greatest. I know recently, um, the matte sleeves when they came out with them last year they're not uh, desirable by collectors because that matte finish kind of makes the card look dull I use just regular penny sleeves and then uh, of course top loader put them in card savers but I actually do use regular sleeves sometimes for just regular V cards or to just send out some nice regular sleeves to other people that have a design on the back to make it a just a nice thing. So, <laughs> but I still actually do use the regular sleeves. Milsery, Casper, and a Wormadam. And we will try to keep the Brilliant Stars cards separate as well. I can't get over the ETB. It was really good. <laughs> Because we got a card from every type that you could get in uh, Brilliant Stars, or not Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance. We got a character card, a Radiant card, and a full art and a B card. So that was a very good ECD. I think that's about the max 
pull you can get out of an ATV, honestly. Carablast, Clefairy, Owl Creamy V. Look at that. Look at that Owl Creamy into a clean clang. Well, trying to get this out. And we had the Japanese Owl Creamy character rare make an appearance on Monday's video. So that's really cool that we kind of just pulled this. All right, last pack and the beat Juniper box. So we've got two pulls out of the Juniper box. Not too bad, not that great. Uh, we also got Hollow as well. It's a nice variety. Uh, I know I wanted to open one. I just know usually it's, if I can't get that great of a look, I probably won't get another one unless, you know, they're pretty discounted. So let's see. Staryu, Ultra Ball, into a Garchomp Hollow. Ending on a nice Hollow. So they did get two Hollows out of it. We did get the Celebi VMAX, and then we got the Out Creamy Character Rare out of one of the Brilliant Stars packs. So not that bad. Honestly, for me, I'm probably just gonna get the one Professor uh, Juniper Tournament Collection box. You guys might wanna open a few, see if you can get pulls. I definitely stick to doing, getting other products. I am gonna open the Divergent Powers tins on Friday to see what pulls I can get from those. The pack selection is really, really good. <laughs> and we're gonna see if I cannot uh, get some spicy pulls from that, so. But if you've enjoyed <laughs> today's video, please leave a like if you would. And uh, you can always leave a comment down below. What was your favorite pull? What was your favorite cards that you saw? Was it one that I got from Malice Dumpling? Was it the full art from the, the Professor Juniper full art? Or was it one of the cards that came out of our giveaway win from Reagan Sparkles? So, but uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. <laughs> Because of course we're going to do the giveaway and I will be sure to let you guys know when I started. And I'll post it up on the channel in a video, you have to make a short one, and I'll post it up on Twitter too. So. But that is all I got for you and uh, be looking forward to Friday when we open up some Divergent Powers tins. So till then, you guys take care, sleep well, and good night.